Hey guys, today I'm going to be going through a quick little demonstration and review of the Leatherman Wave Plus. I initially had the Wave and I had a fault on the locking mechanism of this uh, tool here, the file, it just um, broke off. Okay, how it basically works is that you open up the, the tool and what happens is that this uh, sort of flicks out and forms a mechanical uh, lock. But uh, yeah, I did find that broke off in the last model, you know, it was after five or so years of use and um, I ended up sending it back to Leatherman. They gave me a completely new one and the upgraded model as well. So really happy with how that's turned out. Um, I don't notice all too many differences on the new model, but there are some differences in the pliers, the, the sort of wire cutters, which I'll show you in a moment. But firstly, let's just talk about what's uh, on the outside. So you've got, this is like a 420HC serrated knife. Okay, and here's this is it from the other side. The entire tool is 241 grams, um, closed 10 centimeters, and the blade, I believe, is about 7.37 centimeters for the primary blade. This is the serrated blade, but you do have the primary um, 420HC blade here. Okay, very sturdy feeling. And uh, let's have a look what else you got on the other side. Um, you've got a wood saw. Okay, decent length as well. Okay, I mean, you're not going to cut any tree trunks with that, but definitely any smaller limbs and things like that, no issues at all. Um, there is this file, which I really love because you have got three different edges on the file. So you've got this um, this side here. So it's like a wood and, and uh, metal file. There's a Kind of, I think this is like a hacksaw, or not not a hacksaw, but like uh, there's also an area here at the bottom um, that you can use to file and um, even cut through metal. Okay, this here on the other side is a diamond infused. Uh, this is, and this final side is infused with diamond dust. This is really handy if you're sharpening knives. Um, anything like that, sharpening your, your scissors and, and what have you. This is fantastic. And I actually didn't realize it was used by that, um, you know, thought it might be like a nail file or just like a general, um, yeah, just a very fine grit file. But yeah, it is diamond dust and you can sharpen other blades on it, which I think is really awesome, using a tool to sharpen your other tools. Um, so opening up the tool, uh, you know, I need to probably oil it a little bit. It does feel a bit stiff. Okay, these are not spring loaded. Okay, they're not spring loaded. Uh, but yeah, the pliers here, you've got your regular pliers um, down here, and then you've got your needle nose pliers at the end. Um, and you can see, I mean, it just closes right up at the end, and there's no, I mean, there's no gap. It's absolutely perfect. You find that one of the Oh, the differences is, uh, yeah, this these wire cutters here. So they have the regular wire cutters. It basically just comes in, you know, the regular and the hard wire cutters are basically in the same thing, but the uh, regular cutters are just at the front and the hard wire cutters are just at the back where you see that little groove. Um, I don't know what they actually do with that, that uh, section at the back. Maybe they just make the metal a little bit more reinforced or they've uh, changed the angle of how the metal... Uh, fits together down in the back, but uh, yeah, hard wire cutters and normal normal sort of wire cutters there. This is uh, a couple of torque screws here that you can undo and uh, replace them pretty easy, which I think is awesome. It's going to increase the longevity of, of the device, uh, not the device, but the tool. So, you know, here on the back here, you've got a wire crimper as well. So uh, just that section here that you can use to uh, squish down objects even at the back just underneath there uh, I think I have used it at time to clamp something down or just to um, squish a bit of plastic down or something like that other than that I, I haven't really used it all that much um, let's have a look at the other tools that you get with it as well so um, you know you've got some rulers here some basic rules here on the side uh, centimeters I think that's like in inches there and uh, yeah, there's actually interesting because it looks like the, yeah, it just runs all the way from this side here. Uh, yeah, so you can actually 
look at it's one centimeter up into 18 centimeters so yeah if you have the, the tool like that you can actually use it as a proper ruler so inches here goes up to eight inches and uh, looks to be 20 uh, 20 centimeters okay um let's have a look at yeah the, the tools that are included other tools so uh, there's some scissors so these are basic scissors okay like that and they're kind of got a little loaded bit of metal there that helps to make it spring back okay and what happens is when you actually um, open the open the tool it locks out there's a locking mechanism here so if I want to push it back I actually have to press this button uh, here on the back and then uh, push the tool back in I think that's really good actually keeps things a lot more sturdier and uh, there's actually a couple other tools in here which I'll show you so this is the smaller uh, so this is the small um, bit driver and it's got a teeny little teeny little screwdriver here on the end and these are actually fantastic for tightening up glass uh, glasses hinges or little electronics you know even like undoing the back of watches because uh, I changed the batteries on my watches and um, yeah this this uh, other side of the screwdriver is absolutely fantastic so you can actually flip it you can actually like flip it um, to each each side okay flat head and Phillips head uh, so let's put that back in okay and um, let's have a look this is a last bit here this is just a flat edged uh, flat edge screwdriver okay over here and that you know all these tools lock into place with that same little mechanism okay and you can actually get other parts for these bit drivers so they do yeah it comes with other sets that you can purchase online I believe I haven't bought any myself uh, I've just not had the use of it so let's look at the other side um, so you've got large bit driver and you've got a Phillips head here and flathead screwdriver and I have found these these bits to be really really durable okay and um, this here is a can opener and a bottle opener at the same time and there's also a um, wire stripper right here this little v-shape in there so really cool and you know one thing I do is that when I'm using either of the screwdrivers I just actually lock the tool out like that close it back in and then I use it in this way it's just a lot easier you get a lot uh, better grip and um, yeah strength when you're using it rather than having it kind of in this awkward position and trying to use the screwdriver so I think that's pretty cool um, I really like that you've got these blades and files and things that are opened um, yeah you can use one hand to to open them okay this one's like a little bit stiff I think I need to oil some of them but they're just so easily accessible from the outside which makes it very convenient so that's it if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and if you like this video do me a favor and click the like button it helps get my video out to more people and if you want to see me make more reviews make sure you subscribe thanks for watching